What's going on everybody? Ken here with Down and Quiet RC. Beautiful weekend. We're here at the Psycho Nitro Blast 2024. We're right here at the Great Smoky Mountains Expo Center off of I-81, which is down that way. Uh, beautiful day today. Me and Timothy got here um, Thursday, set up our trailers. We'll show you that later. But uh, yeah, it's great to be RC racing out here. Um, lots of people here, just over 900 entries. Um, pretty much a three day event. We've got practice, 20, well, 23, hour, 23 and a half hour practice uh, Friday from 6 a.m. till 5.30 a.m. Saturday morning. Then right after that, they do a little bit of track maintenance. You go straight into qualifying, two rounds of five minutes each. And then you have your mains, either your lower mains and then your, your, your mains on Sunday. But uh, Timothy's running uh, Sportsman Nitro Buggy and Sportsman E-Buggy. And uh, really looking forward to it, looking forward to that practice and to get some racing. And to see the pros, of course. They, they're gonna be whipping it, you know it. And uh, we love watching them race. You know, they hold their lines awesome and they race each other fairly, but fast. Um, I'm gonna show you the track later, but it looks like for these pros guys, I don't know, they'll probably do 40s, 38s uh, per lap. You know, sportsmen, they probably do maybe 45-ish, 46, 47, somewhere in there. But uh, I'll show you the track in a second but yeah so let's go check it out all right this is tim's first practice session at the pmb we'll see how it goes he's up there somewhere Uh, I'm back doing some work on uh, Timothy's um, nitro buggy on the rear clip a um, little loose out there um, he's kind of been losing the rear a little bit so um, gonna change a little bit of a uh, diff fluid in the rear he was running 753 yeah if it's on is it plugged in I don't think so, but... <laughs> Just plug it in. But um, we're running 753, but I'm going to change it to 5 in the rear. Um, seems like it really wants to cut in on them, and uh, maybe it, it just keeps them kind of towards the middle of the, of the track as he comes around those sweepers. So I'm going to try that. Um, mess around with the little um, pills. Um, just trying to settle down the rear. Um, also, going to lower his um, rear shock fluid. Uh, I think he's a little too stiff in the rear. Um, so I'm going to do a yellow spring in the rear and drop his um, shock oil from 500 to 450. And we'll see how that goes. All right, I'll be back. We've got practice going on. It's about noon now on Friday. Um, right now it's the uh, sportsman block. 
I think it's from 10 to about 1.30. And then after that, they do uh, the pro. I think they have about two hours of practice block and then in immediate. Uh, and then at eight o'clock till about 5.30 in the morning, it'll be open practice again. So the track is still pretty green. Uh, we're still working on setup. Timothy had so far two e-buggy sessions and one nitro session. So we're still trying to work it, try to work some little bit of uh, for tires and, uh, you know, setups and stuff, but we're getting there. Takes time. Of course, sportsmen, there's a lot of sportsmen, so the sportsman block is a little bit longer. I think it's like three and a half hours, so you got a long line of sportsmen, you know? I think the entries just for e-buggy sportsmen is like almost 200. So, you know, sportsmen, the line's gonna be long for practice, but our goal is just to get in what we can, work on the cars, and then really concentrate on tonight because the track's still green, so, you can do a lot of changes, but I mean, the track's still green. You know, uh, tonight the track's gonna be closer to what qualifying's gonna be. Uh, and that's usually when we practice the most. We just stay up tonight and practice. And I'll definitely have some footage of that. But uh, it's just nice to be out here, just chilling, you know, me and my son, and just have a good time. Not, not worry about so much about setup just because of the track, you know? We need to let the track come in a little bit. But uh, I'm just blessed to be out here. PMB 2024. Check out this line. Say hi, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you want to say now. You want to say it. You want to say it. You want to say it. You want to say He's serious. Mike's serious. You know I'm all about the food at PMB. We got plenty of food here. Um, there's plenty of restaurants right across from the interstate. Uh, so food is not a problem. They got a Bojangles, Wendy's, all that stuff. Uh, Cracker Barrel. So when it comes to food, I ain't worried. But here's another look at this line. This is a sportsman line still. Pretty much go all the way and go all the way around. But that's every year at PMB. You got so many entries, that's just part of PMB. So I don't know what the total entry count is. We'll find that out later. But uh, just get out of here and get as much practice as you can. But uh, yeah. So this right over here for people that have never been to a big race. So this area right here, that's your staging area for your nitro. That way you can warm up your cars and stuff while you're still waiting in line. Your pit guy can warm up your car and, and get ready, you know? And then they can release you from there. Once you're up there at the stand, they can release you from the uh, staging area. And then you can go to, like, go to the pits. Each, each practice session is five minutes. So, you know, if you need to do some tuning and stuff, you can come in real quick, maybe lean you out or richen you up, whatever you need, and keep going. Um, they're doing a pretty good job this year with uh, marshals. There's plenty, plenty of people, so everybody's been doing pretty good marshalling, which is great. Because in practice, you only got five minutes, you know, you, you kind of want to get flipped over. So, seems a lot better than last year. Beginning of last year, it was like almost no marshals. People would just leave. You know, it is, it is what it is, but. So far, so good.
Um, the only changes we're doing right now to his nitro buggy is really the sway bar up front. This, this, this sweeper right here, his car pushes a lot. I'm gonna show you a little close up here. So, so when Timothy comes off that turn, his car pushes, so it comes all the way out. It, like it doesn't want to, it doesn't want to turn in. So we changed the sway bar out, and hopefully that'll help. There's David Ronenthal, former world champ. Um, this is his first PMB here. I'm sure he'll do fine. But it's good to see uh, the pros showing up. Uh, it's a great show, especially the A mains. So. Show you the outside. You got the main arena. This part here is all bending. So if you need any parts, tires, or anything, you got Nitro Pro, you got N2RC, you got Rhino Racing. Also, you have a lot of uh, factory team drivers pit right here and right over here. We got Beach RC here. They also do a raffle. You can buy raffle tickets. Um, buy a bunch of tickets and you can put in for different raffles. You got your, uh, see your different packages right here. Pretty cool. Pretty nice stuff. Got a promoter there. Awesome. Of course, Timothy got his shirt every year. He gets his shirt. It's cool. We've got Jay Concepts here, Hot Race, Tim Tebow's here, Spencer Riskin. All the fast guys are in here. There's Chad Cup. He got his new shirts. We got us oh, you got us a set of new shirts. They're hot. You got TZO tires, you got pits all the way out the back. Um, RC armor is back out here too. RC Barty armor. Understand? Bobby. Oh no, had a lipo fire. We got VP Fuels is here, high tech. They make good servos. We use the we use the Nitro Pro, but um, high techs are good as well. Really good.
What's going on everybody? Uh, we still got practice going on. It's still Friday. Um, right now it's still sportsman. Uh, practice block until about one. So we're gonna try to get back out there with the nitro. Um, he did his second practice with the e-buggy. Um, he's running around right now. So I need to ask him how it felt this time around. Uh, we kind of changed. The only thing we changed on the e-buggy from the first run is I think we went lighter front shocks. Um, I'm sorry, lighter front springs. Um, just to see if it'll, you know, let it turn in a little bit more, let it roll a little bit more on the front end to get a little bit more traction. Um, but we'll see what he says when he comes in. But uh, no, everything's going good. We're having a good time. You know, just a waiting game. Um, so once he's done with practice for sportsmen, which is at 1 p.m., uh, like I said earlier, it's gonna be the pros practice session for like two hours, then they'll water it again, and then it'll be intermediate for a few hours. So the next time he'll be able to practice after this block will be at from 8 p.m. to 5.30 a.m. And that's really when the trap becomes what it's gonna be for qualifying tomorrow. So once 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 all the practice is done tomorrow morning at 5.30, they'll do a little bit of track maintenance, water it, and then the qualifiers will start. And that's the thing about PMB, it's continuous. So you got practice day Friday from 6 a.m. pretty much till 5.30 a.m. the next morning. I know you have your little blocks in there, but there's also open practice, but that's the practice. And then right after that, right after practice at 5.30 in the morning, they'll do the little track maintenance and they'll post the, the post the qualifiers. So it goes right into the first qualifying and just keeps going. Again, for each class that you run, you have two qualifiers of five minutes. Um, and then you have the mains. I think they'll probably have the lower mains starting tonight. I'm sorry, starting Saturday night, Sunday morning and then it goes into the mains um, Sunday. But uh, that's why they call it psycho because it's pretty much continuous. Once it starts, practice, qualifying, racing, mains. So you try to get your sleep when you can. We decided yesterday um, that we're not gonna come in for the six to, six to 9.30 open practice this morning. We decided let's just stay. I glued some tires and let's just wake up at eight. You know, just get some good rest. Um, and we showed up, did a little bit of practice, and we'll have time to work on the on the buggies later. So, but everything's good. I got some more um, Nitro Pro free, uh, fuel from Chad Cut with uh, N2RC. So we're good on fuel. And um, yeah, it's good to see everybody out here. I hope everybody's having a good time. Um, if if there's anybody here that that maybe lives close to Tennessee or whatever, and you have you never been to Psycho Blast, try it. I think you'll enjoy it. It's more the experience than anything, you know. Seeing all the pros race, and um, you know, we enjoyed it. We enjoyed it last year, and here we are again this year. Um, you know, you get excited. Psycho Blast is like this. You get excited. And then it goes on and on, and you're like, oh, you get tired by Sunday, you're ready to go. You're ready to go to the house. But then a week or two go by, you're kind of over it, and you're ready for next year. That's how it was last year. We're like, we're so tired. We got home, and we're like, ah, I'm glad this is over with. But then you get it, you get re-excited. Really that's just how it is. You're just tired from three days straight of RC stuff and RC racing. But uh, it's a great event. Um, Again, to us, I think it's more about the experience. Having so many people here, everybody loves the RC community. Everybody loves the racing. Everybody loves to see the, like the pros race each other and how they drive. I mean, they're just, it's just amazing the control they have over their vehicle, you know? So that's what I enjoy at least. Um, but yeah, so we'll do some more uh, footage outside here in the pit area. Maybe we get to meet some new people, and we'll be back. See you guys.
We're here on the grounds here of the arena. The arena's right behind me. Um, I know there's some people that obviously been here before, but I just want to do a quick tour for the guys that's trying to make this race. I know it's a bucket list kind of race, but just real quick, this is pretty much one side of the building. I'll go to the other parking lot, but there's your one of the entrances to the parking lots right here. This is the main road that you'll be entering in, and that's one of the gates. This takes you kind of to this parking lot here. Plenty of parking. You can park your trailers here or your campers. And that's a designated RV spot. And they're usually um, reserved. Um, Race Time Entertainment usually posts something on Facebook, maybe a few weeks out before the uh, Cycle Nitro Blast. And you can reserve it um, for, you know, obviously you gotta pay for it, but uh, for actual RV hookups. But, uh, but you don't have to, you can you can park your camper anywhere really here on the parking lot. And I'll show you that other parking lot later, it's even bigger. But uh, yeah, but that's one of the entrances. Um, they got entrances here, you can, go, you can get to the track very easily through those red doors, the tracks right in here. And this is like towards the front of the building. Let's show you around. So there's mainly two gates to come inside these parking lots. That first one I showed you, and then there's one right down here. You can't see it, but it's right there. That's your second entrance. These are the only two entrances to get inside here with your vehicle. Um, again, there are all these red doors around the building. You can just, you can just get in and uh, have access to the track. Let me show you this door here. Like this is one of the doors. You can just walk in. This is this race, like you know, guys probably know, it's almost every April. It's gonna be a little loud, but here's the track. I'll show you some close up later, but it's giving you an idea. Got your driver stand over here. You got your staging area right there. It's a massive track. There's your podium. I'll show you a close-up of that later. We got we got qualifying. This is round one of qualifying going on. Approximately 61 heats around so like I said before it's around six I'm sorry 900 and like 50 entries or so let's go back outside yeah it gets loud all right take you over here real quick warming up it was cold this morning it was 32 degrees freezing my butt off um here's that second entrance i was talking about that's usually where i come in at and here's the second parking lot it is huge you don't need you don't need to worry about parking you don't need to worry about finding a spot you'll find a spot at pmb 
But as you can see, you got campers, trailers, and everything. I'm gonna show you the barns over here. They got like horse stalls in there where you can set up. They clean it up pretty well. So if you might wanna bring a broom or something, clean out a little bit of hay that might be in there. I mean, and you can set up like a tarp. Some people set up those uh, those igloos, those tents inside there and sleep in there. Bring a little heater or something. You're good to go. Um, there are hotels real close by, just across from the interstate. Um, you got like a, uh, a Hampton Inn and like a Best Western or something. Real close. We're talking like, uh, like five minutes away from here. So there's a Walmart not too far away. If you need things when you get here and you forgot, you know, you always forget something. Um, there's a Walmart here. Um, Cracker Barrel, all the restaurants, Bojangles. You'll, you'll be taken care of. You'll be taken care of. Um, you won't go hungry. You don't have to drive real far to get food if you didn't bring nothing. But uh, what I'm gonna do next, I'm gonna drive over where our pits are and over here by these barns. What's up everybody? Just wanted to show you like the barns here at PMB. So here you see barn A, and you see how long it is. And you have horse stalls on the outside of the barn, but also on both sides of the inside. And I'll show you that in a second. So you got barn A and barn B. So when you get here, if you ever decide to come, you know, you can set up your tables and stuff in there or your tent or your little um, sleeping area. So you just pick one out when you get here. And that's I mean, we, we just did it on, on Thursday. We're right at the edge. I'm, obviously we're in a trailer, but you can always use that for maybe like community area or whatever. But um, let me show you one of these stalls. So let's say you get here and then you just you decide to select this stall. <clears throat> they are actually unlocked when you first get here. So bring a padlock. So if you're away from your pit area or whatever, you can lock it up, you know, or get a chain, but you just need a padlock and you lock it up. Moving sliding doors. But this is how they come. They're pretty much cleaned out. And all we did was get a broom, clean all that mess out, throw it out, put a tarp down, or some people even get the huge rug, put that down. You put your pit tables up. Um, power is right outside. You see where they at? See right here? You got your power right here. You bring extension cords. You, you're set up. You're set up. Um, some people, if they have a smaller trailer, now we didn't do it this year, but some people just pit outside here, put your trailer up, have your little workstation there, but just maybe use this area just to camp camp in, you know? Um, but, uh, you know, those little igloo tents people use, they, you got people setting it, I'll show you one later. They just set it up in here, put a little heater in it, and you can sleep in here. You don't have to get a hotel. You know, it does get chilly here at night in April, but um, no, it works. And again, this is, this is just the outside of a one barn. You can see there's a lot of them. This is the outside. Let me show you the inside of it. You don't have to worry about rain or anything. Let me show you the inside of one barn. See this? Plenty of spots, see? Most of them are not even used. People usually use the ones up front. We have plenty of space left and right. So if you ever decide to come PMB, get here on a Thursday or whenever, just grab your one. Bring a padlock, you know, bring a heater, bring your tables, your chairs. Here you go. Here's, here's, a good ex here's a good example of how you set it up. You got lights. And then just bring your locks and just lock your stuff up while you're gone. He has a canopy. See? Here's like a, that's what a lot of people do to have a little community area. You know, if you bring like a group or friends or whatever, a team, you can cook in here. They also have, <clears throat> they also have water. Um, if you need something to clean your tires with or bring a bucket, 
Um, here's your water right here. And you're good to go. Um, Andy Gross has one of those uh, igloo or Cabela's tents he slept in. Let me show you that, show you his setup. It's really nice. It's a beautiful day today, 70 degrees. Here's a canopy that set it up right inside. Put your heater in there. This is Andy Gross's spot right here. Got one of those igloos. Got a little heater in there. It's perfect. It's all you need. You don't have to pay for Oh, here they go again. Kingsport, baby. What's up, up y'all? Y'all about over this? <laughs> yeah. How, how, how y'all been doing? You running nitro this time? No. No? E buggy. Alright. Yeah. They'll be in there watching. You guys raced already? I am. You still waiting on yours? Still waiting on all right. See you in a piece, so we'll see. Good, man. That's good. Uh, yeah, we got, uh, we'll race, I don't remember, 40 something. Yeah, that's what he said. I, I gotta wait. I gotta wait. You so, be here by 9, 10 o'clock. I know, man. But we'll, we'll, we'll have everything ready. Hopefully, I don't know. Maybe people will be gone by then. We can hook up at least and get ready to go, but yeah. Man, you, you know, hey, it might be about midnight. Uh, He's in, the, he's in the B, he's in the B in both. So he's already like 45, 47, so. But now he's doing good and we'll see what happens. You run? No, I'll be back. I know I've been saying that for about six months now, but I'll be back. <laughs> Trying to meet Ryan Lutz, wife's being shy now. We're not trying to bother you, Ryan, but your biggest fan's trying to be all shy now, right here. How's it going? Good, how are you doing? Good. How are you feeling about the weekend? Middling, but we're, we're there, so we're trying. Okay. She was walking all slow, but no, he's here. Come say hi. I don't know if you got my note when I ordered this shirt, and I said, Penny Punk is lying in the evening, because that's what I always ask. That's, that's all she said. Is Ryan going to be there? Ryan going to be Is Ryan there? Ryan's there? Yeah. We got your book. I love the enclosure. Yeah, that was a nice touch. Classic, classy touch. Yeah. Yeah. How are you doing out there? I'm six, seven, two, three, four, five, eight, two, three. Yeah. There's only two rounds, so just one. Go for it. Go for it. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. You know how it is. It's like you look you, you're all excited and then you just start dragging. Right. You know, I know you guys, you guys kinda get it and you get guys get some sleep, but us, you know. You stay up all night? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. But we don't want to bother you. But I appreciate it, man. Good I, April Fools, by the way. Yeah. yeah. Did you like the green? I the green actually looked good. Everybody liked it. Yeah. So
What's up, everybody? It is Sunday. It is main day. PMB 2024. Uh, me and Timothy got some good rest last night. We did a little bit of maintenance for the mains today. Uh, but we did a lot of maintenance last night. So we don't have as much to do today. I'm mainly doing his shocks today. It's supposed to be 70 degrees later on. It's warming up really fast. So uh, here's his nitro buggy. His e-buggy is ready to go. His e-buggy, he is raised 47. Um, he's starting 13th in the B main. Great job. And there were a lot, a lot of entries in Sportsman. So that's a great, great result. Um, right into the B main. And he'll be starting, let's see here, 13th. He'll be starting 13th. So great job there. Sportsman Nitro buggy. It's race 45. So it's two races before his e-buggy race. Um, he's starting 10th in it again awesome result um, and in the, the main is 20 minutes for nitro 10 minutes for e-buggy so like I said I did all the maintenance already on it um, the clutch bearings the air filter uh, make sure the mesh is good make sure everything's cleaned up and just doing the shocks now um, again with it being a little bit warmer later on I guess the maintenance could be around four o'clock or so before he races. Currently it's 10.50, um, we'll see. But it's gonna warm up really fast. So we have been running around 5.50, 4.50 rear, 5.50 front. Um, so I think I'm just gonna probably leave it at 5.50 front and 500 rear. I think that's what I'm gonna do. Again, I've been using the VRP 20 hole pistons. Um, this is the front shock here. Um, got the red valve in this one uh, it's been working good all all week or these last few days so um, the red is like the second most rebound the valve and then the rear has the black black has the most rebound I know you can see that let's see here you can see that valve in there so he got red valves in the front black in the rear so that's what we're gonna start out with um, I think he'll do fine He's very good at like once he gets started and gets calmed down a little bit, he 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 likes to make up ground. So he'll he'll be starting uh, tenth. Uh, I think the top three or two bump. I know at least two will bump. Top two will bump, but just have a clean race. That's our goal. So we'll see how that goes. Um, I got this stand here. It's like a it's like a, a shock stand diff stand and like parts tray from WP3D Wilf Wilson's performance 3D really nice thank you Weston Wilson and uh, shout out to his son Jonah Wilson man he got his he got TQ in pro e buggy wow man that's amazing we're all happy for him uh, he's super fast but it's awesome that, for him to get a TQ I uh, can't wait to watch that race. Uh, he's doing well in all the other classes too. And uh, we're rooting for you, Jonah. But um, yeah, so just doing some maintenance. Um, gonna enjoy some of the races here in a little bit. And uh, just wish him luck, you know. Uh, it's been a great event. We're, we were a little smarter this year. Last year, we were just trying to stay up and do stuff and practice and Get barely any sleep sleep here in this seat here and leaning back and uh last year i sent timothy in the truck and he slept in the truck for a few hours but this year i think we were a lot smarter and this just me i recommend you come here on on if you say you come on thursday just to set up and um maybe, maybe get practicing if you want to friday morning at six but the line's gonna be so long and the way they did the practice this year was actually good. Yes, after Sportsman's block was done, there was a long break for us, but you still have open practice from 8 p.m. Friday night till Saturday morning to 5.30. So you still have a lot of practice and the track will be closer to what it's gonna be on qualifying day, right? Cause more run in and stuff. So get your sleep when you can don't be this totally just working on cars and practicing practice you're gonna be wore out so that's what we did last year but this year 
we got a lot more sleep. Um, like I said, I had um, I had some hotel points left, so I just went to the Hampton Inn, got us a room for all three days. So anytime we had time to go sleep, we went went to sleep. And um, again, did a lot of maintenance yesterday after we're done with the qualifiers. Our qualifiers were a little bit earlier yesterday, our second round qualifiers. So once we were done with that second qualifier, hey, let's just do the maintenance. Let's work on it now, get a lot of stuff done. And that way, when the main, main day came today, all I'm doing is shocks, you know, trying to figure out what the temperature is going to be and kind of get in that ballpark. Um, and tire games, it's pretty much a small pin. We're running a small pin. Um, just trying to figure out what compound, you know, uh, I think for e-buggy, he's, he's going to run, he's running a super soft. Yeah, he's running a super soft for e-buggy. It's 10 minutes. Um, that should work out just fine. Um, he's running the same shock setup as he is in the nitro buggy. Um, he's running a 550, 500 nit. And uh, with diffs, uh, he's been running 755 in uh, in nitro buggy. He's been running 753 in, in e buggy. We'll see if he wants to change that. It won't take long to do that. We still have a lot of lot of time. Probably still have another four hours. It's uh almost 11 here right now 11 a.m on sunday um and i think they're on the race i don't even know 18 or 19 somewhere in there so we're all race 45 47 we're gonna be here a minute <laughs> but uh if you're in a later race that means you did pretty damn well right so yeah great um great job tim um from coming from the d e or e main last year in in electric buggy and now you're in a b main in electric buggy and not your buggy so awesome job um just want to give a shout out to everybody i've met here everybody from the rock rc farm i mean everybody you, you know who you are um good seeing you out here and having fun uh, for those people that came out just to watch hey it's a great it's a great race to watch it's great to watch these pros run how they hold their lines and full bore man it, it's awesome to see how they set up their cars as they jump um really enjoy watching that um, oh another quick shout out to rural racing ryan rural was tearing it up uh he's i believe he's starting seventh in the a main in nitro i can't remember where he's in the b main i mean in the uh, e-buggy but in nitro he went straight into the a main starting seventh so he's gonna do great great job rylan um wish you nothing but best of luck we're, we're hoping to join you we'll see uh it's gonna be tough but we're just gonna have fun and and let her rip uh engine's been running great velocity tuned and we had no issues these past three days none whatsoever um yesterday morning um doing his qualifier i mean she was running so rich she's running out of fuel while i was warming her up i'm like my goodness it was like 30 three degrees out and she was guzzling i had to lean her it was time to lean you know what i'm saying i had to actually run back and fill my bottle up while he was at the staging area just warming it up i was like my goodness but we got her we got her right i leaned her out a little bit and she was good to go um and, and that's another thing we have to think about strategy wise you know you're running sportsmen are running average you know between 44 47 lap you know if you don't crash um, seconds per lap I mean you really got to think about your pit stop right yeah you know anywhere else we might run a 730 eight minutes before fueling but a lap here is so so large and so long you really have to think about I think we're gonna run run it safe uh, he has a 20 minute main so I'm thinking maybe 637 and then and then maybe uh, maybe 14 and then he has another six minutes uh we're not going to take any chances you know filling up it might take five seconds but i'd rather have five seconds more time um than than uh, run out of gas during the main so uh we'll be safe on that one but uh we'll give you more updates after he's done with his mains hey thank everybody for your support uh really enjoy meeting people that i've never met before just walk up hey you're you're the guy from down and quiet yeah me and my son tim we're here 
Um, so it's great meeting all you people. And good luck to all the rock guys, all the RC firm guys. Do your best and have fun. See you guys later.